Question 18. 0 0.04 divided by 10. Well, as soon as you see times 10 times 100 times 1,000 or divide 10, divide 100, divide by 1,000, you've got to think about place value and moving digits. So I've written a few notes down at the bottom of the screen here about what to do. So if you're multiplying by 10, 100 or 1,000, you move all the digits to the left. So, and that will actually make the number bigger. And how many places you move to the left depends on how many zeros it's got. So one place to the left is when you times 10, one zero. Two places to the left is times 100, two zeros. Three places to the left is times 1,000, three zeros. But when you're making the number smaller, you're dividing by 10, you move the digits to the right. And this is what we've got to do here. We've got to divide by 10. So the one that we're actually focusing on should be this divide by 10 here. So we're going to move the digits one place to the right. So let's have a look at what that leaves us with. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write the original number now. So 0 0.04. I'm even going to put some column headings in. So the no, this first note is in the units column, then tenths, then hundredths, then it would be thousandths. And we need to move every digit one place to the right. So the four is going to go one place to the right into this column. This zero is going to go one place to the right in this column. And this zero is going to go one place to the right into the tenths column. And obviously, don't forget, we've got our decimal point between the units and the tenths column. So our final answer is 0 0.004. But you wouldn't really write it as 0 0.004. Although that is technically correct, because there's nothing in the units column, we always fill the units column in with an extra zero. So what we're actually looking for is 0 0.004. And that's what we should be writing in our answer box, 0 0.004.